elsewhere tonight, it's been more than two years since a United States Marine was killed right here in Jefferson County. Tonight, the family is desperate for answers. CBS 42 News reporter James McConathan reveals the details of this cold case in a CBS 42 special report. Robert Howard was last seen alive here in the Pipe Shop neighborhood in Bessemer. His car was abandoned on I-20 near mile marker 115. And his body was found here on a neighborhood trail in Brighton. Now, investigators are asking for your help to solve the case. I dropped the phone and got on my knees and I said, Not our child, Lord. Vera Willis remembers the moment she found out her son had been murdered like it happened yesterday. Robert Howard was a Marine with a 12 year career behind him. He loved the military. When he came out of high school, Mom, I know exactly where I want to go. I don't think it was a week after he graduated, the Marines was at our front door. He told his mother he had decided not to re-enlist, and he came home. He was killed less than a year later. His brother said there's not a day that goes by that he doesn't think about him. I wish I could have been there. Could have done something. Howard was found shot to death in a wooded area off Fourth Avenue in Brighton. He left behind four siblings and three children. I had one of my granddaughters who wanted to go where her dad is. She walked in front of a car because she wanted to be with her dad. She's eight years old. It's been more than two years now, and the killer is still out there. But Howard's family hasn't given up the search for justice. They're not going to let this rest. Um, he didn't deserve to die. The family petitioned the Brighton Police Department and Jefferson County District Attorney Lanice Washington to reopen the case. Can't give you him, so the best thing we can do is give you justice, and you deserve that. DA investigators Frank Easterling and Don Lundy have been reviewing interviews and evidence collected at the time of the murder. Howard was last seen alive at a party in the Bessemer neighborhood known as the Pipe Shop. The next morning, his body was discovered. Easterling took me to the scene. A well worn trail the locals use as a shortcut in the neighborhood. Originally, they said blunt force trauma. They found out later it was a gunshot wound to the head. He was on the side of the trail here. And from all indications, he was shot and killed right here. He left his body in the end. And that stays with me. Police later found Howard's car on the side of Interstate 2059, northbound, near mile marker 115. Someone out there saw something. Now investigators and the district attorney are asking for the public's help. They may have valuable information and that they're sitting on, they've been sitting on for two years and just have no clue. And the family is making a plea to the killer. Turn yourself in. Turn yourself in. Give us closure. If you have any information that can help solve this case, call Crime Stoppers at 254-7777. You can leave a tip anonymously, and good information may earn you a cash reward. In Brighton, James McConathy, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.